From the book of James, chapter 5, verses 13 to 20. If you are having trouble, you should pray. And if you are feeling good, you should sing praises. If you are sick, ask the church leaders to come and pray for you. Ask them to put olive oil on you in the name of the Lord. If you have faith when you pray for sick people, they will get well. The Lord will heal them. And if they have sinned, he will forgive them. If you have sinned, you should tell each other what you have done. Then you can pray for one another and be healed. The prayer of an innocent person is powerful and it can help a lot. Elijah was just a human as we are and for three and a half years his prayers kept the rain from falling. But when he did pray for rain, he fell from the skies and made the crops grow. My friends, if any followers have wandered away from the truth, you should try to lead them back. If you turn sinners from the wrong way, you will save them from death and many of their sins will be forgiven. And from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verses 38 to 50. John said, Teacher, we saw a man using your name to force demons out of people, but he wasn't one of us, and we told him to stop. Jesus said to his disciples, Don't stop him. No one who works miracles in my name will soon turn and say something bad about me. Anyone who isn't against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name, just because you belong to me, will surely be rewarded. It will be terrible for people who cause even one of my little followers to sin. These people would be better off thrown into the ocean with a heavy stone tied around their necks. So if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. You would be better off to go into life crippled than to have two hands and be thrown into the fires of hell that never go out. If your foot causes you to sin, chop it off. You'd be better off to go into life lame than have two feet and be thrown into hell. If your eye causes you to sin, get rid of it. You'd be better off to go into God's kingdom with only one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell. The worms there never die and the fire never stops burning. Everyone must be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if it no longer tastes like salt, how can it be made salty again? Have salt among you and live at peace with each other.